Bloom News Brief. More info at FullandBloom.com. In a brand new interview with Rock Interview Series, L.A. Guns frontman Phil Lewis weighed in on the recent Mick Mars vs. Motley Crue drama. On Mick Mars's claim that he was the only band member to play 100% live on Motley Crue's stadium tour, Lewis said, It's incorrigible, isn't it? It really is. It's such a swindle, but it's probably a lot better. They probably sound like utter shit if they were live, with the big stadium and the big lights and Vince singing in the way that we've come to know and love. They're really a fucking atrocious band. They always have been. And the only good player, the only one in the band, has been unceremoniously dismissed. I never liked them. I never bought one of their records. I loathe Girls, Girls, Girls. Occasionally, I caught the attention of Nicky, and he doesn't like me. I'm a sad little pumpkin as to what he thinks about me. I just find him to be a big fraud. It's a punishment of luxury. Somebody that became a millionaire at such an early age that they never really developed social skills. It's like taking a bird out of a nest when it's not ready to fly. It won't develop. And I don't think that any of them, the three of them, aren't very well socially developed. And mix a different category entirely because he was so much older before success. Success can be a punishment quite often, and in their case, it must be so painful right now, having been idolized for so long and now to be called out as frauds, essentially an instrument holding Milli Vanilli as a disgrace. They've got to be hurting real bad. I don't know, they make a lot of people happy. A lot of people couldn't care less. They just want to go there, have a good time, drink beer, and be with their buddies. We're just not that kind of band. On if he would join Motley Crue if he was offered $50 million to replace Vince Neil, Lewis said, I would never get that offer, but they really fucked up when they went with John 5 and not Tracy Guns. And I'm glad they did, obviously. John 5 is not the right fucking fit at all. And Tracy would just be so perfect. He's like Hollywood. He's a brat like them. He's just like the next generation down. And it would have been such an incredibly good fit. But Tracy's not trendy. It's gotta be fucking Rob Zombie's guy, or it's gotta be Lenny Kravitz's wife or ex girlfriend it gives them a sense of importance and as i said i'm glad they fucked up and they didn't hire tracy and would i take it hell yeah i'd take it i'd do it in a heartbeat all i've got to do is get up on stage and mime and wiggle my ass and wear whatever i want yeah 50 million come on let's go more news at fullandbloom.com 